Dokert here. Today we're going to test bridge rectifiers. As you can see, bridge rectifiers come in different various sizes and shapes. They all test out pretty much the same. We're going to use a Williams Linear power supply from a Defender because it has three of these different bridge rectifiers on it and should be a pretty good example. You'll set your meter for diode test and let's test these and see what we get. Once you've identified the legs of your bridge rectifier, one will be positive, one will be negative, the other two will be AC. You'll take your negative lead to the positive, your positive lead to either AC leg, and you should read between 400 and 600 on your meter. If you read something like this, where it's 1800, you have a bad leg of the bridge rectifier. The next step, you'll take your positive lead to the negative and test the AC legs. And again, it should read between 4 and 600. That was the 3502 that we just tested. The 401 tests out the exact same way. Negative to the positive lead. Positive to the AC. Oops. If I can get it. And you'll get 4 to 600. Positive to the negative lead negative to the AC, you get 4 to 600. And that bridge rectifier is good. Last bridge rectifier is this little teeny tiny guy, and he's the exact same thing, the AL156. Negative to the positive lead, positive to the AC, 4 to 600. Positive to the negative lead, negative to the AC, you'll get 4 to 600. And the AL156 is also good. Bridge rectifiers are very simple, very easy to test. And if they're bad, they're bad. They can be tested in circuit or out of circuit. This, this particular 3502 bridge rectifier is bad. It has one open leg. The legs can also be shorted. If you're taking a test and you get the beep in your diode, like such, it's shorted and it's also bad. Replace that bridge rectifier.